So if Allah gives speech that you then recite and your recitation is created, but Allah's speech is uncreated, then the words, because they are identical, are mirror images of one another. And that means that Allah's attribute of speech is identical to your speech. And that means that Allah is like something in his creation, which contradicts the Quran. If Allah is not like anything in his creation, right? That also includes all of his attributes. If you're saying that your recitation of the Quran intercedes for you on the day of judgment, because of the action. and it is the action that is, that is speaking for you, then that means your recitation of the Quran is a mirror image of Allah's speech. In other words, Where do you get that your created That's speech a is, a, is a mirror image of Allah's divine speech. Right, what's, I don't understand what's wrong with that. You're superimposing... Is Allah fact, like anything in his creation? You're superimposing... And so the, I'm going to explain to you why it's wrong. No, no. What is Allah like anything in his but, creation? But here's, here's the thing you got to understand. You're, you're superimposing the fact that if I repeat God's words, whatever I'm saying is divine. No, I didn't therefore, say that. Therefore, No, I said, I actually therefore, said it was created. Therefore, because I did God not is, say not, that. is nothing like his creation. I did not say the that. The fact that the recitation is divine, therefore, it I, contradicts I did not the say that. that God is not like... I did not like, say that. Point. No, you see, again, you haven't listened so I'll repeat my point I again. Did listen and I think so try to listen. To, so try to listen to my point. So the Quran says that Allah is not like anything that He has created. So He's not like anything that He's created. But you're saying that your recitation of the Quran is created, right. and it is that action that will intercede for you on the day of judgment. Right. But that recitation, for it to be a recitation of the Quran, of Allah's speech means that it must be a mirror image of his speech. Right. Going back to our living example, if I say your jumper is green and you repeat your jumper is green, you have spoke, I have spoke, my speech is an attribute of me, your speech is an attribute of you, but the words your jumper is green are exactly the same. Correct, Correct. thank you. So that means that Allah's speech is like something that Allah created. So you're, what you're, what you're yes, okay. Is that yes, when, okay. When someone it repeats the words of God, right? It's something similar to, or is the same as the attribute. It of God. is a mirror That's image of saying. Allah's words. So, so you're saying because God is nothing like what's created. Well, Allah says that, not me. You can't have that. Uh, you can't have someone be able to. Uh, say things that are the attributes of God is what you're implying. So are you saying that Allah was wrong when he said that he's not like no, anything I'm, in his creation? I'm trying, I'm trying to understand what you're trying to say. As I think I, most people who are watching that, this are going to understand it. So my point to you is, I'll state it again, is that Allah says in his Quran, he is not like anything that he has created. Right. That includes his attributes, right? But if the recitation of Quran is created, and it's that recitation that speaks for you on the Day of Judgment. And the recitation for it to be called Quran, it must reflect the words of Allah. So okay, where I Allah understand. says, Bismillah illur Rahman illur Rahim, and you say, Bismillah illur Rahman illur Rahim, and forgive my Arabic, I'm not an Arabic speaker. I understand, I understand. So Your attribute of speech reflects in mirror image Allah's attribute of speech. Do you know? Because the words Bismillah illur Rahman illur Rahim have been spoken by you, which are created, and Allah, which are uncreated. All right, so listen up, Bob. You gotta stay with me here. Go on. The equivalent of what you're saying is that the fact that mercy, for example, is an attribute of God, and that we're merciful to each other, that that is similar to an attribute of God. Therefore, there is something in creation that is similar to Him and contradicts the fact that there is nothing like Him. So. That's, that's the equivalent of what you're saying, is that true? Uh, the, I mean, it is a problem for Islam, yes. You see? It is a problem so, for Islam. So now you got to understand is that the mercy of God is different to our mercy. It's not like you, you, when you take the attributes such as this, the speech of God, simply repeating or doing that thing doesn't mean that you're like God. That doesn't make any sense. So, so you, haven't, you haven't actually addressed my point. The, the whole mercy thing does create another problem. And it creates exactly the same problem. Because if you're saying that Allah is not like anything in his creation, right? 
but Allah has mercy and you have mercy, then you have no point of reference to identify what mercy is to Allah. Right. Because Allah is not like anything so, in his creation. So his mercy but the problem with the speech thing, <coughs> and here's the problem with the speech thing that you, you, you I know you've recognized it because I saw you recognize it, is that if I say your jumper is green and you say your jumper is green, we have two attributes of speech, each belonging to two different beings. But the words, your jumper is green, are identical. So if Allah gives speech that you then recite and your recitation is created, but Allah's speech is uncreated, then the words, because they are identical, are mirror images of one another. And that means that Allah's attribute of speech is identical to your speech. And that means that Allah is like something in his creation, which contradicts the Quran. So, so don't, the, the don't, is, don't the refute the argument. <laughs> Don't, don't flabbergast, don't equivocate, don't use you're, a different example, a, deal having, with my argument. You're having a hard time understanding the really fact not. that when, when, when we repeat the words of God, yes. it's not, we're not creating something that is similar or is the same as God. What, what you have to do is you have you're to create something. You're not creating anything, Allah's creating it. When the Quran, for example, gives a challenge to bring a verse like it, just because you repeat the Quran as it is, it doesn't mean you've brought a verse like it. That's I didn't say that. I just, so no, no, I didn't you, say that. You have to create something that's similar to him in I order didn't to say contradict that. the point that nope. God is nothing like his creation. So I didn't actually and, say that. And you got to understand in Islam, I didn't say there's that. a difference of opinion that your recitation of the Quran, when it comes out as is the production of, of speech of God, yep. that could be uncreated. And in that sense, your whole argument falls. No, it doesn't. But, but, but even if we don't say that, your argument still falls because of the fact that we're simply repeating the, the words of God. We're not creating something of our own will that so, is similar so let, to let God. Me, let me reply that to that. Sense? Let me reply Does to that. that. Let me reply to that. The first thing, the first thing, I need to teach you your own deen. No, because, you yes, you do. You, you like, said, no, 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 because you, you said, that, you said that, we that create that speech. Totally you, you said we create speech. Islamic Akida is that Allah creates your speech. You don't create anything. That's, you that's don't create Allah. anything. No, no. Allah creates every moment of time. He creates every action. Right, so I, Allah creates action. your speech. No, I'm going to finish my point. <coughs> the argument that I've made, the argument that you are not addressing, and the fact that I keep having to repeat it shows that you're not addressing it, is that because I'm not saying that, that your, your speech is of similar eloquence, to Allah's speech because that was what the point of the Quran that you referenced in your reply and I never made any mention of that whatsoever. What I said was, because remember it's about the Quran's intercession on the Day of Judgment, you said that the Quran's intercession on the Day of Judgment is not actually the Quran, it's the action of reciting the Quran and I said fine let's work with that. If the action of the Quran is what intercedes for you then that means Allah has created something that is identical to Allah's own speech. If I say, okay, let me have, finish, let me finish. No, you that don't is, get to interrupt. You don't true. get to interrupt. If I say that your jumper is green and you say your jumper is green, even though my attribute of speech is mine <coughs> and your attribute of speech is yours, the words, your jumper is green, are identical. And if Allah creates words that are identical to his words, then he has created something identical to something uncreated. And as it is identical to something uncreated, it breaks the Islamic concept. It contradicts what the Quran says when it says Allah is not like anything he has created because he creates your speech. And if he creates your speech and your speech is identical to his words, then he has created something identical to his eternal speech. So, as Do I you follow that it, logic? Yeah, just listen up. As I understand it, you're saying my recitation of the Quran is created, is created yes and so God has created some something similar to his uncreated attribute of the Quran what I'm saying is the saying. Wo there are words in the Quran and there are words that Allah creates when you recite the Quran yeah right the words of the Quran the Kalam al Allah is uncreated okay. your recitation is created so Allah is creating things in creation that are one-to-one -one symmetry with his uncreated speech. 
and I'll prove it to you again. If just repeat my words, your jumper is okay, green. We, we've gone through that three times. I've already so address you know, the analogy. Honest, I've already I've already addressed your uh, address the analogy. You keep it. So Did address you, the analogy. What, uh, about the can you address the analogy? If I say your jumper is green, and you say your jumper is green, my speech is an attribute of me. Your speech is an attribute of you, but the words "your jumper is green" are identical words. But when I say my jump, uh, your jumper is green, yes. it's not an attribute of you. Agreed. And that breaks the and that breaks the radical transcendence that the Quran asserts. The Quran asserts a radical transcendence. It says Allah is not like anything He has created. That includes all of his attributes, including his speech. And yet he creates your recitation, which has a one-to-one -one symmetry, a mirror image, a perfect replication of the words of Allah. Your silence is appropriate.